Hi, I'm Sabrina and my teammate team and Shankar over there. So all, we already had, I think, two presentations on cancer classification. This is kind of similar, but we'll try our best to set our project apart from the other two. So in a basic overview, most of the biological, a lot of biological outcome are mainly binary, like either you have this disease or not, uh, or you, is this cancer, this, is the cancer is from this type of, I have this, this type of prognosis or the other type of prognosis. But one of the main problem with this gene expression data is that you have very few samples and compared to that you have very large number of features. Often the samples in data sets, the sample size is in the order of hundreds, but the features are like tens of thousands sometimes. So it often suffers from cars of dimensionality. So main focus of our project is to reduce the features selection and have um, to come up with a new technique to select which features are best for predicting cancer types. So the first step is pretty general. Like you first, you, when you have the data, you pre-process it. You do normalization technique. There are a couple of normalization techniques that are common to gene expression data. We have used z-score normalization in our uh, technique. And then we move on to feature extraction. So we do the feature extraction in two steps. The first step is like two, two sample t-tests and which, um, which can significantly um, uh, fish out the genes that are uh, differentially expressed in, in the two types. So the, the genes that are like red circle, those are like the differentially expressed genes. So we pick out those to concentrate on the classification. So the next part uh, is the main contribution of our project is uh, we further reduce the feature space using the wavelet decomposition. So why did we choose wavelet decomposition? Unlike like Fourier transform or other transformation, wavelet decomposition have like unique ability to localize dat data in both frequency and space domain. So compared to other like signal, uh, compared to other techniques, it can it have a better advantage of detecting peaks or discontinuities or like interesting features in the data, so we use that. So in our case, we used third level, um, up to three level wavelet decomposition using DB1 wavelet, and we used, and, and as features, we used the peaks of the, peaks of the uh, deco um, wavelet decomposition, uh, and before doing the peak detection, we, we did uh, um, as, um, denoising of the samples so that we have lesser, we don't pick out like peaks that are insignificant. And then we used a bunch of standard classification techniques. We have uh, compared two things, random forest classification and support vector machine. And we have tested our technique on three types of data set. One of the data set have like general cancer and control, differentiate between cancer and cultural samples, and two ALL, AML, and lymphoma, these two data set classify between different types of, sorry, two types of cancer. So this is our uh, performance evaluation. So we can see that in our feature, redu uh, feature reduction technique, we have uh, reduced the feature like more than 100-fold from the initial uh, feature space. So with, without any feature selection, we see that with uh, random forest, we get like 70%. And SVM, we get like 75%. But after we do the simple t-test, we uh, drastically improve on the performance. And when you further reduce uh, the feature space, we gain on the performance for two of the cases in random forest, uh, but not so much in SVM. Because in our data set, we, I don't know, the data set might be easy. But in our case, with only t-test, we got like perfect performance with SVM. So. Um, so that's our performance evaluation, and we try to compare with uh, existing technique. So we found this paper that uses this exactly same data set and uses SVM with their own feature reduction technique. So we saw that um, the, our best performance is way higher than theirs, and even with a very small feature space, only 55 features, we have very uh, similar performance with the uh, reported technique in this paper. So, so in future, uh, we didn't really play with uh, the classifier parameters that much. We didn't play with like random forest, like how much to bootstrap or 
what should be the minimum leaf size so we sort of use like a single so we want to do like cross validation on the classifier parameters and perhaps if we have time we want to explore more feature selection processes and see like how this technique performs in other diseases and how are the optimal parameters.